Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. In this session, we will do a revision of chapter 2. Are you all excited? Yes? Come, let's start. English Standard 6 Unit 2 Amazing Animals Now students see, Parrot assumed that this argument is not going to stop. So he asked everyone for a fight. Animals started laughing. Animals were laughing because of the small size of the birds. But this is not a good way of comparing. Yes, students? Okay, from the bird's side, parrot was the leader and for the animals, lion was the leader. The lion called all the animals together and gave them a drill for practice. They marched for long hours. He gave them a lot of good food too. The poor birds did not have good food and they did not practice. Instead, they had a meeting with their friends, the insects. Students, drill means a training. So, the lion gave all the animals training and instructions. They did a lot of practice. Also, nutritious food was provided to the animals. Whereas on other hand, birds were determined, but they were not having good food or any practice techniques. So they went on for a meeting with their friends. And who were the friends? They were insects. Are you all ready? The lion asked. Yes, we are ready. They all shouted, We are ready to go to the battlefield. Then listen carefully, said the lion. The lion whispered, I have a plan. Captain Fox, you have a nice long tail. You will be my signal. On the battlefield, I shall whisper in your ear when it is Time to fight. You will put up your long tail to signal all the animals to attack the birds. Is that clear? Very clear, sir, said the fox. Very well, said all the animals in one voice. The fly hurried to tell the parrot the lion's secret plan. Lion finally asked everyone, whether they were ready for the battlefield or not. Everyone replied that they were ready. Fox was the captain and the captain was supposed to give the signal to everyone when it is the time to attack. Fly heard everything and quickly went back to the parrot. Students, why was Fox the captain? Because Fox had a nice long tail, which was going to be the signal. The bee stung the fox. He stung him once. He stung him twice. He stung him three times. Oh God, now the fox was badly injured. He forgot all the signals. And he went away from the battlefield. All the animals, they were confused. They started running behind the fox. At last, birds won. Students, what do you think now? That physical power is important or the smartness is important? Now, let us learn something interesting. There are many amazing animals in the world. But many animals are in danger of extinction. When animals are extinct, they no longer exist on earth. Animals that are in danger of becoming extinct are called endangered animals. 
Some of these endangered animals live in India. One is called the Indian purple frog and it is very rare. The purple frog lives in India's western ghats. This unusual place has mountains, forests, savannas, peat bogs and freshwater wetlands. As you can see in this picture, there is a frog and this frog is known as Indian purple frog. Now this frog is endangered. What is endangered students? Students, as we all know, there are many beautiful animals and birds, but few of them are endangered, which means we are not sure about their future survival. They are in a very dangerous situation. Other than that, there are few animals which are extinct. That means they are no longer on this earth. The frog is purple in color. It has dark black eyes. And what more? Let us now see few more features. The frog has fat body. It is short with stout limbs. It has shovel shaped bump, webbed feet, round tongue, there are no teeth, it has smooth skin, light brown tail and narrow mouth. Come, let's have some fun with this refreshing poem at the zoo by A. A. Mill. The poem is full of excitement, life and energy, isn't it students? Little kids repeat themselves again and again whenever they are excited. They never stop talking in front of their parents and guardians. Similarly, in the poem, the child is excited about the elephant. So, he tells again and again that he only gave buns to the elephant. There are lions and roaring tigers and enormous camels and things. There are buffalo, buffalo, bisons, and a great big bear with wings. There is a sort of tiny potamus and a tiny noceros too. But I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. There are badgers and bidgers and bodgers and a superintendent's house. There are masses of goats and a polar and different kinds of mouse. And I think there is a sort of something which is called a wallaboo. But I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. If you try to talk to the bison, he never quite understands. You can't shake hands with a mingo. He doesn't like shaking hands. And lions and roaring tigers hate saying, how do you do? But I gave buns to the elephant when I go down to the zoo. The poet tells that in the zoo, there were roaring tigers and lions and large camels. There are buffalo, buffalo, bisons. These three names are used for this one animal. The bear was with wings. There is a tiny potamus and inoceros, which refers to the hippopotamus. But I gave buns to the elephant. When I went down to the zoo, students remember these two lines. These are very important. There are badgers, bidgers and bojers. Again, this beautiful animal is given three names by the poet. The poet expresses that children give different names to one thing. There is a superintendent's house. Poet saw a group of goats and a polar bear. Then there were many types of mouse. Then there was a wallaboo which looks like a kangaroo. But I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. Poet tries talking to the bison also. But the bison is not able to understand anything. 
then poet informs us very innocently about the mingo fish it doesn't likes to shake hand lion and roaring tigers hates greeting people but i gave buns to the elephant when i went down to the zoo i hope students you have enjoyed the fighting animals the purple frog and this poem i am sure that you will revise it properly till then students take care bye bye